All right, so for problem number three on the test, I think I said it will be rotational, right? Will be gears, pulleys, things like that. Um, so look, look at all those different types of gears, pulleys, belts, things, linear things on the edge, right? They're hanging off of something that's rotating. Um, and then just... Is it constant acceleration or not? Constant acceleration or not? Don't use constant acceleration equations if it's not <clears throat> constant acceleration. But if it does say, hey, the acceleration is 2 radians per second, you know, <clears throat> then it is constant. Uh, and so you could, you could use constant acceleration equations if you... Um, if it's constant, uh, decide where you want to do your math. Either, either your constant acceleration equations, you know, where do you want to do those constant acceleration equations, or in this case, your integrals, where do you want to do those? Just look at what you're given, look at what you're asked to find. Sometimes it really doesn't matter, but sometimes if there are more things given about a, a certain point, uh, maybe you want to do all your math over there. So decide where you want to do your math, and then be careful jumping. Be careful jumping outer to outer, outer to inner. There really is no jump um, from outer to inner. Uh, be careful what is at, given to you. You know, it, did it say after A rotated six revolutions or after B rotated six revolutions? You know, just look, read the problem statement carefully um, to, to think about what gears and what places uh, it's giving you information about. Uh, careful about initial conditions. Uh, this one was easy because it started from rest. Uh, but be careful with initial uh, conditions. Uh, probably, probably we'll throw that in there uh, for a final exam. You have a little bit more time to 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 tackle these problems. Uh, so be careful with integrals that have initial velocities. Um, but you know, don't memorize all these problems. Look through these problems, the in-class problems, the homework problems, the uh, old tests, old test reviews, things like that. Uh, but you can't memorize everything, so you got to have a plan, got to have a process um, of, of what, what we're going to do. This process kind of involves jumping information from one to the other and then using either constant acceleration equations or um, integrals and derivatives. Um, to um, answer what it's asking for. So, and also, don't overcomplicate things. Sometimes I'll give problems where students have a hard time finding acceleration, even though they were given an equation for acceleration. So don't overcomplicate things um, for part of the problem. You might not even have to take a derivative or, or an integral. You might have not have to use a constant acceleration equation uh, to find, you know, some of some of the answers that it's asking for you. Okay, so I think you're hopefully um, prepared uh, for problem number three on this final exam.